someone may need to make that commitment and say Lord my sincere parents my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge but will you use me as that priest let me be that mediator between the old and the new someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart Someone pray. Please pray. Please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's no Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Hear me I have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that I know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority I am a spirit with a mortal body I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus open your mouth and begin to declare I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea someone is praying shabagata barate kate palaka to shoprondos ekrete ke barato soto brenda kate belagadia shakata praska de balakata Pray, something is happening. Pray, something is happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place. On earth, on earth as God's steward and, and I declare Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit I am in partnership with you every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place Every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life. In this season, I declare, I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shh. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every system of authorization. Working against my life. My family. My destiny. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Shake it up, katapa la katosh. Embrake it, katapa roskotoba. Be silenced. In the name of Jesus. Systems of authorization, fighting your influence, fighting your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This prayer you are about to pray, many miracles are going to come out of it. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life I command depart now open your mouth and pray depart fibroids depart high blood pressure depart cancer depart someone pray tumors growths depart pelakatosh kadila pariata Blood conditions depart. Shaga da baga da baga dos kade, embre da ga baruso sega de balatos. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity my body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident by sickness by the activity of wicked people I cause it right now Go ahead and pray. No premature separation coming in the form of accidents. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says, the profit of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, my portion given to me by God, I decree and declare, through the ministry of men, let it gravitate towards my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. God is a God of portions.
God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors i reject it someone pray i reject it i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus i reject it Abagada Baragos, Abrakatos Kadeba Lakatesh. Hallelujah. Listen. The implication of having dominion over the realm of the air, the realm of water, the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture. Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements. Did the Bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day? nor the moon by night say in the name of Jesus I speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the Lord walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit and the word of God for my favor for my destiny not against me open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural I decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me I have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth Pray.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. Genesis 1 from verse 20. I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see. Are you ready? And God said, let the waters do what? Bring forth abundantly. So water is connected to abundance. And water in scripture means men too. Are we together? It is not just about physical water. Water is also prophetic and symbolic of men. It says, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life. The fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. 21. Let's read together. One to read. And God created the great whales and every living creature that moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life for my assignment through the ministry of men I declare let it be released unto me go ahead and pray let the waters bring forth abundantly Someone pray, someone pray. Let the water spring forth abundantly. Shabragadabalagata proskoto balando shaliatas. Hallelujah. Psalm 79 verse 11. Psalm 79 verse 11. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Death is an appointment i can reject an appointment that you give me we can fix an appointment for 12 and i can choose to reject it is that true please look up for there to be an appointment it means there must be some sort of consent even if not mutual there has to be an awareness. Okay, you go to apply for a visa. You expect an appointment. There is an understanding between you and the, the, the consular officers that there is an appointment. So when the Bible talks about an appointment, it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed, even if you are not there. Like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children, and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th. So when the Bible says there are people appointed to die, it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them 
already made the appointment in the name of Jesus Christ every appointment whether by covenant whether by ignorance or by disobedience with the spirit of death I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of Jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to Nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of Esther you will find out that Haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack I can tell you this for sure no terrorist attacks at will no they consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go that's why it looks like it is effortless regardless army regardless whatever I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best but there has to be a spiritual advantage can I tell you the truth if you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength you will be a victim of several casualties it is not like satan and terrorists are so powerful their advantage is not in their physical armory i tell you this their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit and it is good for us to pray but for God's sake prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying hallelujah so they set a date and even though her man was dead the decree of the date for destruction still continued it took another decree to change it the Bible says where the word of a king is he says there is power he said declare ye that thou mightest be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is weed in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as weed as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me we are going to make decrees every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation in this city and around please don't say it does not concern you don't make the mistake of esther when her man was plotting evil esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and mordecai sent a warning he said do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us you will be spared for you do not know whether it is for such a time as this everyone who has been kidnapped even those killed they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you don't forget that you have not you have not stopped moving you to move out in the morning and in the night so don't say it does not matter shout this from the depth of your heart say in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I take my place as one who has authority and I decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of terrorism the spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you
be broken. The priesthood that supports you be broken. We prophesy to the north, we prophesy to the south, we prophesy to the east, we prophesy to the west. In the name of Jesus, we declare the ministry of angels. May they excel in strength by the word of the Lord. We declare this by the decree of the watchers. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is no rest and no peace for evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just add this one last one. You are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you listen listen you have to reject bad news between now and december you, you, your your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that will depress you and waste your time it is within your power yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the Bible says the name of the Lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents Lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true and hath the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of david he opened it that means if you don't have the key of david you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of David and by the mystery of the key of David that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 it says I know thy works behold I who has the key of David I have opened before thee he says I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because I acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name I stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit and according to Revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 I decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open Doors of favor be open and remain open. Doors of lifting be open and remain open. 
doors of restoration be open and remain open doors of opportunity be open and remain open doors of speed be open and remain open hear me i release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them i say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the holder of the key of david has opened Makesh may this prophetic word judge them Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging, that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand, in the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to the King of Kings, the giver of all good things. In Jesus' name I pray. Oh God of signs and wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Dideo, Dideo. Oh God of signs oh God and of wonders, signs and wonders. Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. One more time, O oh God of signs oh God and wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Shout this loud from your spirit. Say, Father. One more time. Say, Father. Tonight, I place a demand on your grace. All that is required to finish the year well, I receive right now. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Ahead and pray. I place a demand upon your grace. All that is required to end 2023 with grace, with glory, with power. I receive, I receive. Someone is praying. All that is required. All that is required. Say after me, Father. One more time, say, Father. Every door that is yet to be opened, I decree and declare, let it be opened now. Go ahead and pray. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They sang, and the jailers heard them. Suddenly, there was a sound and the prison foundations were shaken and all doors opened. Go ahead and pray. Every door that is left to be open, let it be open now. 
Let it be open now. Let it be open now. Let it be open now. Let it be open now. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Your name is to be hallowed, Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name, your name is to be hallowed. I like you to pray. I'm about to speak over your life now. Everything that is yet to crown my year with glory and honor, I place a demand. There are still a few days before the year is done. Come on, go ahead and pray. In one moment, God can crown your year. In one moment, He can take away shame. In one moment, He can take away disappointment. Listen, listen, in one moment, you can find your destiny helper. In one moment, it does not take long for doors to open. In one moment. Don't say it's too late. No. In the final service, someone has to receive. You can make that someone you. Are we together now? In one moment, that what I could not get from January till November, my God, I sense such an anointing in this place. In one moment, I'm going to give you a minute to still pray. Place a demand. Father, this is the final service. What you told me in January, the realm that you said I would be walking in, I am yet to see it manifest. I place a demand. I place a demand on your grace by faith. God can turn your finances within the days that are left. Not weeks, not months. Days that are left. In one day, God can rewrite the story of your family. In one day, God can redefine your life again. Hallelujah. 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 Why do we take our time to pray and speak over people? Because you see, prophecy is very powerful. 
Impartation is not just about falling down. I have taught you this. Impartation is about opening up your spirit to access the graces that empower you to rise, to thrive, to excel. We are made by the graces that rest upon us. This is what makes men. Hallelujah. So as I speak over your life, don't just shout amen. Say it with understanding. Because these words are spirit and life. God confirmed the words of his messengers. They are not empty words. But it is only to the believer. This is how it works in the kingdom. It is only to the believer. It is only to the believer. There is a gentleman now. I'm seeing fire fall on that gentleman. A gentleman. Gentleman. You will be a mighty man in the spirit. Mighty man in the spirit. Do not despise the training of the spirit with you. You will be a mighty man. I'm telling you this by the spirit. You will be, you will command power in the spirit. Power in the spirit. Power in the spirit. I will sing of the wonders of your work. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your work. And I will forever sing your praise. I will sing of the wonders of your work I will sing out for joy I will sing of the wonders of your work and I will forever sing your praise and I will forever sing your praise and I will forever sing your praise. I'm praying for you now. The grace that makes you a man of prayer, the grace that makes you pray, even in the spirit, the grace that makes you travel till you become by prayer, I stretch my hands over you. In the name of Jesus, let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. Just, just guide them where they are. I'm saying it again. There is a grace that quickens men to pray. May that grace like never before. Let it rest upon you now. Help them please. Let, the, let that grace rest upon you now. Number two, I truly want to pray for your understanding of scripture. Please hold on, mommy. The spirit of revelation, there are not many people that have carried this grace. I don't know why. You see, let me tell you, revelation is not just a reality you step into. There is an operation of the Holy Spirit that actually opens you. It brings you to a realm of enlightenment. You become knowledgeable, precise, accurate spiritual information with the results that follow I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus everyone that must drink of this fountain everyone that must drink of this grace access to the mysteries of the kingdom light I stretch my hands let it rest on you now let it rest on you now let it rest on you now let it change the way you see let it change the way you see. Let it change the way you perceive. Let it change the way you receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me 
Spirit of wisdom, rest on me, oh. is what you are about to receive. What is wisdom? Wisdom is the ability to use the written word and with it provide solutions. Translating the word of God, giving it application to your life and destiny. Knowledge is good but knowledge is not enough. If it does not translate to wisdom, it says to the Greeks that Christ, the power of God, the anointing revealed as the wisdom of God and as the power of God, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Wisdom that will distinguish you. Wisdom that will set you apart. It will become clear that you are a carrier of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Young and old, male and female, let it rest upon you now. Let it change your ministry. Let it change your finances. Let it change your life. Let it change your approach to things. With wisdom, let it come excellence. Excellence upon you. Hallelujah. Don't be distracted. Let your power for signs and wonders rest on me rest on me let your power for signs and wonders rest on me rest on me let your power, let your power for signs and wonders rest on me rest on me let your power let your power for signs and wonders rest on me pray for you perhaps this may not be for everybody but there are people who need to carry an authentic anointing truly for signs and wonders you cannot demonstrate the reality of the life and the power of God except power comes upon you I know what power can do I'm praying for someone now a lady a gentleman a Deborah an Elijah I don't know who must drink of this that you go back and begin to command a strange order of the miraculous. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I release that grace upon you. With it, you will pray for the sick and watch them healed. With it, you will speak over people and watch doors of families open. Receive the grace for signs and wonders. I, I release it upon you from the depth of my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me. What about time? Me. Let your power, let your power. Power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Listen, hear me. Truly, there is the power to prosper. Honestly, if you have never believed anything about scripture, believe this one. There is, there is a real dimension in the spirit called the power to prosper. If it is not on you, it will be clear that it's not on you. There are many things. Listen, the power to prosper is not about money. Don't mistake in it. The power to prosper has nothing to do with finances. It only reflects itself in finances. The power to prosper stops things from dying in your hands. The power to prosper is what is responsible for advancement. It makes everything to produce. He shall be like a tree. 
that is planted. Our, the mistake is that every time we say power to prosper, we are thinking Naira and Kobo. No. There are people who have money without the power to prosper. When the power to prosper is upon you, nothing dies. You become Beulah and Hephzibah. A well-watered garden. I want to pray for someone. This is a cure to struggling. I'm coming to favor. But many of you, but even if in your, listen, if your finance is not working, the power to prosper, I have taught this and I want you to listen so you don't just shout amen. I hope I'm not wasting your time. There are three dimensions of the operation of the power to prosper. Watch this now. Number one, when the power to prosper comes upon you, it comes upon your head. That is the first place it comes to. It does something to your thinking and your understanding. The power to prosper does not just give. It adjusts. It realigns. When the authentic power to prosper does not come to your bank account, it comes to your mind. Job said in the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle, there were two kinds of light. The lights that shined upon his head and the lights that shined upon his feet. It is the power to prosper that works upon your mind. It heightens your level of intelligence, your acumen, your understanding of things. You begin to comprehend things in an unusual dimension. It is that dimension that fishes out solutions in darkness. That is what gives you the treasures that are hidden in dark places. Hmm. I want you to believe what you are hearing. I know what I'm talking about oh, when it has to do with this one. This is not a lecture. The power to prosper. Many people do not have it. And so you find out that only one little thing seems to be working. And everything is dead around their lives. Just because you have money does not mean you have the power to prosper. The power to prosper has nothing to do with material things. It only commands material things. Hallelujah. Your mind. The second area where it functions is your hands, representing productivity. You can have creative ideas, but the fortitude to execute them, to now turn them into solutions, that schedule rewards for you. Many do not have it. The power to prosper comes upon your mind, then your hands, and then the third dimension is your feet, representing guidance and direction. When the power to prosper rests upon your life, it begins to culture your work so that you go to the right places, influenced by the Spirit of God. And Isaac sowed in that land. The key word is not the sowing, it's that land. If he left that place, you see, it is the power to prosper that can make you to know that the season has ended in a place. It is the power to prosper. It has the assignment of insisting that you move forward. It has the assignment of seeing that you excel. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. That is the assignment. Many of you are just learning about the power to prosper now because every time we talk about the power to prosper, people are thinking their bank account, their ATM, it works there. But that is the latter part of the power to prosper. You can have money by going to school and getting a job and get something coming. When the power to prosper brings you finances, the difference will be clear. You can get finances by many other means. But if it comes by the power to prosper, it is dangerously defended. There is longevity. Do you believe what you're hearing? Because I'm about to release that grace on someone. There are people here, nothing is working in your life. You are sincere. You are educated. You love God. But you lack the power to prosper. You are in ministry. Receive this all because it is the power to prosper that works in partnership with the grace for favor you are receiving that that brings the helpers that come to hold your hand as you serve it is a power to prosper that brings the people who need to help you in ministry the helpers of the war the power to prosper that for no reason should you fail do you believe what you're hearing father in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands over my precious people and I'm praying for someone who is thirsty, desperate and hungry. 
in a way you have not experienced before let the power to prosper truly let this grace that causes men to prosper rest upon you now let it rest upon you now let it come upon your job let it come on your ministry let it come on your finances let it come on your mind let it come on your hands let it come on your feet i say it again let it come on your mind let it come on your hands let it come on your feet in the name of jesus christ that by this prophetic declaration nothing dies in your hands in the name of jesus are you tired of receiving let's talk about favor is there such a thing as the favor of god can it rest upon men and can it be seen that a man carries the favor of god the answer is yes there is truly a grace called favor this one is what gives you dominion in the world of men the assignment of favor is not to bring things favor is directly connected with men the ministry of men resides within the jurisdiction of favor is what makes men like you expressing itself in uncommon kindness expressing itself in uncommon access are we together now uncommon acceptance the clearest proof of favor is the presence of men quality men to help you quality men to stand with you quality men to lift you when the favor of God is upon a man it brings struggle to an end it brings struggle to an end how do you know the favor of God is not upon you because the men who should be used by God to attend to the matters of destiny never seem to show up you don't call them by saying come you call them by receiving favor let me tell you this if koinonia by the privilege of God's grace if koinonia did not carry this grace for favor it will be a disaster it will be a joke to want to rise from zaria here to the ends of the earth no right in this place there were people coming from all over the world america uk with the whole crisis terrorism and everything they would come fly from lagos to kaduna inconvenience themselves not have the best of hospitality but still endure that's what happens when favor is upon you favor is what gives you space and territory they got not the land in possession by their own sword by your favor favor is what stops emptiness from your hand exodus 3 21 and i will give you favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty favor it compels people to want to give you some of you this is what you need to remedy for the financial calamity that right now is upon you you can learn the ways of finances properly when the pain and the trouble is gone but as per the trouble you are in now it is only the favor of god that will bail you out loneliness is one of the evidences of lack of favor no man that's what the man said bethesda his problem was not a healing problem the water was there the power was there but he said i have no man i have no man that was his problem why are you still in this situation for 38 years when an angel comes to stir the water every year others came there and they came two days before the angel arrived and they got healed and walked away but one man remained there for 38 years and here was what he said verse 7 I have no man when the water is troubled to put me there I went to school but I have no man who will speak to me I can walk I can do the business but I have no man I'm a great anointed man of God but I have no man to help connect me to the next level let me pray for you let your grace this grace called favor rest on you rest on you let your grace called favor rest on me rest on me can i tell you this 
Many of you have heard the great things that God is doing where a family. And I say these things to the glory of God. I can only begin to tell you the mighty and manifold things that God is doing through this ministry. It is remarkable and tremendous. Everywhere across the globe, the favor of God, the mighty wonders of God. But this is where it started. When favor rests on you and you actually receive it, then sit back and watch how you tame life like an animal. You know how people tame horses? How people tame animals? Animals that are stronger than them, but they develop their mechanism. You can tame life like an animal on the strength of favor. In the name of Jesus, let favor by the Spirit of the living God upon a man, upon a woman, upon a man of God, upon a businessman, upon a career person, upon a student, upon a parent, let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let it begin to attract quality men to your life quality relationships to your life in the name of Jesus by this impartation everything that looks like reproach around your life where you are alone and men do not show up to help you I pray for you let that tragedy called Ichabod in your life come to an end now hallelujah the final impartation for tonight the final impartation for tonight you're going to receive the grace called speed why do you need speed in your life because destiny is a function of time and many of us by default we are already late in life did you hear what I said by default not because you are wrong some of us got to know the Lord late some of us got to go to school late some of us right now is 10 years since after graduation 20 years since after graduation you've not gotten the first job when will you be able to build a house when will you be able to take care of the necessities of your life with integrity and without compromise hallelujah speed is one of the spiritual systems for time redemption the bible says walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise redeeming the time there are two principal ways in the kingdom by which we gain dominion and exact dominion over time number one is called restoration number two is called speed let me focus on speed tonight in the name of jesus i'm praying for someone who has been laid back in life i pray for someone who has been delayed i pray for a family that has not you are not at the place you should have been now i pray for you in the name of jesus receive that grace for speed receive that grace for speed my god receive that grace for speed let it rest upon you now in one month you will achieve things that have not been done in years i say it in one month you will achieve things that have not been done in years in one month you will achieve things that have not been done in years in the name of jesus christ koinonia hear me as you go carry these graces and may they speak for you as you go let every man who sees you on the way bless you as you go let every mountain that stands before you be cleared out of the way for your sake as you go you shall not die as you go you shall not want as you go you shall not beg as you go you shall not borrow hear me for everyone shouting amen here you will still shout amen next year By the power of the prophetic and the apostolic, I shut the gates of the grave. I shut the gates of accident. I shut the gates of plane crash. In the name of Jesus. And let me speak to you. No devil anywhere will kidnap you or your children. Say amen, oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every conspiracy 
to bring you pain during this season I declare may you be exempted as God is touching you here may he touch your loved ones you will not hear bad news I say it again you will not hear bad news I declare health and vitality for you your body will not break down your finances will not go down in the name of Jesus Christ let's give Jesus a mighty hand clap a mighty hand clap go ahead and whisper that name the name that is above every other name majestic mighty powerful lift up your hands bless the name of the Lord King of Kings Lord of Lords captain of our salvation we bless you we bless you we bless you we bless you all around the world lift your hands lift your voices and begin to bless the name of the Lord the light in the darkness Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pastor Nath, thank you. Thank you so much for this prophetic platform speaking healings, miracles, salvation across the globe. It's my honor to be part of this. Um, it's morning here in Nigeria, so it's my honor to be part of this. And now I want you to invite everyone. Shortly, I'm going to be praying for the sick. I'm going to be praying for those who have been oppressed. We want to declare jubilee over someone. We want to declare a release over someone in the name of Jesus Christ and I hope that in the name of Jesus one of the graces that will be released here this morning is the grace called favor Amen. that it will speak evidently in the life of God's people Amen. but allow me for a few minutes to just share with you just one secret and then I speak over your life and we pray may I request that you please be attentive now the kingdom the kingdom of God is a compendium of infinite possibilities. That means when it has to do with the dealings of God with men, there are no limits. And believe me when I say this, there are no limits to how far the power, the wisdom and the grace of God can be revealed in the life of the believer. The Bible is full of miraculous manifestations of his power. In fact, the entire Bible is his manifesto, revealing how far he can go. Is it the parting of the Red Sea, the healing of the lepers, the raising of the dead? There is absolutely nothing he cannot do. This is true. However, you need to realize that behind every possibility and every result that we desire, there is a mystery that connects it say mysteries now in the kingdom a mystery is not just something that is hidden and should not be known is the name given to a modus operandi that is only privy to those who are in the kingdom matthew 13 and verse 11 jesus was teaching and he says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, Paul began to teach, when we get to verse 6, he calls it the hidden wisdom of God, which God had ordained for our glory. Hallelujah. Yes, the hidden wisdom of God. That means connecting every result, the healings, the miracles, everywhere you see a supernatural manifestation of the power of God, whether it is... In the area of healing, the area of finances, restoration, liftings, the change of story, turnarounds, regardless the outcome. I can tell you that behind every extraordinary manifestation of the power of God is a mystery that has been understood and engaged. 
are we together now we desire several kinds of outcome for some deliverance for some healing for some a change of story perhaps someone like jabez is watching and saying lord change my name change my name take away this reproach from my life i can tell you that the bible says he that cometh unto God must come believing, number one, that he exists, and then number two, that he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. So it's important for you to have it at the back of your mind that as far as your desires are concerned, God is able to do it. Ephesians 3.20, it says God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. But, 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 it is important for you to understand the mysteries, the hidden wisdom of God that is allocated to deliver that outcome. You see, behind, here's how it works. Behind every miraculous manifestation of God, is his power the power of god is the principal sponsor of these possibilities we enjoy in the kingdom but the power of god was only designed to be released when the mysteries connecting the miracle are engaged just because the power of god is available does not mean it will become effectual in the life of the believer the bible says while jesus taught the power of god was present to heal but no one was healed it was present, but it did not manifest healing until a mystery was engaged. And in this case, the mystery that connects healing is number one, the hearing of faith. The power for healing cannot be made manifest until there is the hearing of faith. Then there is the, an action of obedience. These are the forces that control the release of healing. For prosperity, for instance, the Bible says there is heat that scattereth and yet increaseth. So the power of God for increase can hover around a person for a long time and yet he may never experience the blessings of that power. The Spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters, Genesis 1-2, but there was no manifestation. He was waiting for a mystery to be engaged. In this case, the power of the spoken word. Verse 3 says, And God said, Light be. Immediately, the Holy Ghost made that which was said to be made manifest. So you can be around an environment where the power of God is richly present, but it depends on your understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom. We have many mysteries in the kingdom. I'll give you an example. Number one, it does not make sense to just turn around like a fool, but it is a mystery. That's what the nation of Israel, a whole nation did that in the presence of Jericho to bring it down. They didn't just go around they were turning around how about the mystery of a dance how about the mystery of singing it says let the high praise of god be upon their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their kings their nobles to bind them with fetters of iron are we together now these are mysteries giving is a mystery praise is a mystery agreement is a mystery worshiping at midnight is a mystery the Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas, why did they have to wait until midnight? Hallelujah. Because in the economy of heaven, night comes before day. Night is the time for birthing and creation. Day is the time for manifestation. Are we together now? So in God's economy, you don't say good morning in the morning. That's already too late. It starts right from night. Are we together now? So connecting every outcome, including that which you will be receiving. Pastor Nath has through the days led us through several sessions of praise and worship. And you see, the Bible tells us that God's ways are not our ways. So when it has to do with the things of the spirit, you will have to become childlike. It may not make sense. How do you tell an adult, if it, come, come, walk on water? And the Bible says he took that step of faith. And he began to walk on water. How about a man who was born blind? And then he looks at him and puts mud on his eyes and says, Find your way to a pool called Siloam. How do you tell a blind man to go to Siloam to wash? God's ways are not our ways. I'm saying that because I came here with a, a burden in my heart. I'm going to be praying for several kinds of people. But then two, uh, two cases. Number one. 
is this issue of infirmity and every kind of sickness that has plagued God's people. The Lord placed this in my heart. It's time to declare jubilee over someone's body. People who have been bound. We have believers. I want you to agree with me in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says a time will come when the saints, the angel will announce with the blast of the trumpet and something will happen to the bodies of men that when the trumpet sounds, the state of their bodies will change immediately and death and its limitations will have no power over their bodies. There is a sound in the spirit that can bring vitality to the bodies of men that someone once sick left for dead perhaps someone is connecting from a hospital right now with cancer hiv diabetes lupus all kinds of satanic manifestations i bring you good news this morning the bible says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power it says he went about doing good and healing all 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 they that were oppressed of the devil hallelujah and then number two the area of favor especially favor as it manifests in the area of finances can i tell you it is important for god's people to experience the blessing of the lord in their lives because every time there is lack and limitation israel will always go to egypt for help the only reason Israel goes to Egypt is because of hunger. Genesis 42 and verse 2. The Bible tells us that Jacob gathered his sons together and said, I heard that there is corn in Egypt. The corn is not the problem. The location is the problem. There is corn, but the only location is Egypt. But because we are hungry, gather yourselves and go to Egypt. And that's where they stayed until they remained slaves every time there is hunger israel will go to egypt in search for bread so when we minister the power of god in the area of finances this is not just fueling lust by the grace of god the church has come into a state of maturity where we understand the purpose of prosperity that it empowers us to number one live responsible kingdom lives and then number two to drive the agenda of the kingdom to fruition are we together now and so I want you to call everybody you know and tell them a prophetic word is about to come. Listen, I can tell you, the Bible says, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. It says, believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. Do not make the mistake of the man whom the king leans upon his shoulder. He told Elisha, he said, even if God would do this, would this really happen? And he says, you shall see it, but you shall not partake of it. Can I lead you to pray prayer? Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. In, the name of Jesus, In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, decree and declare that my spirit is open. Spirit my heart is receptive. Heart is I am ready to receive. Go ahead and pray in one minute. Pray from the depth of your heart. From America to Europe. From Asia to Africa. Every nation, every state in Nigeria. Go ahead and begin to pray as you open your heart to receive. Shabrekete parakotos koto prende kebere kusha. Is someone praying? Is someone praying? Mighty God. Shaleke parakotos kata prende kebere kusha. Someone, someone pray and end comes to this infirmity and end comes to this shame and this reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus name we pray. Now I just feel stirred in my heart to give you three reasons why the saints need to produce results. You need to understand that the Bible calls us salt and light. Matthew chapter 5 when you read from verse 13 down to 16. It says ye are the salt of the earth. Then it now says you are the light of the world. It ends in verse 16 by saying let your light so shine. Say so shine. So shine. It never said to just shine. It says so shine. The extent of that illumination. That men will see your good deeds. And then glorify your father who is in heaven. In John chapter 15 and verse 8. When you read the Bible says. Herein is our father glorified. Glorified. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit. Say much fruit. 
when ye bear much fruit hallelujah in ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10 your bible my bible says we are his workmanship hallelujah created in christ jesus it says unto good works which god had before ordained that we should walk in them ephesians 3 and verse 10 it says to the intent that now unto principalities and powers might be made known by the church it says the manifold wisdom of god so when your life and my life begins to command a level of extraordinary supernatural results that your results are evangelist there is a sermon only results can preach are we together now and there is a desperate audience waiting for that sermon to see that god can lift to see that god can bless to see that god can make a barren woman become a joyful mother of children to see that god can raise the dead to see that god can heal the sick that god can turn a man's life around even as it's about to happen to someone right now that whilst you are sitting in your couch following by faith releasing your faith that in a moment in in the twinkling of an eye the father of spirits can manipulate the spirits of men and cause them to favor you and to cause them to lift you do you believe this the power of God is strong in this place available to heal available to deliver available to bless listen let me tell you the end time church is not a weak church the end time church that will cause his glory to be revealed in a manifested way in in a rich dimension is not a weak church god has brought us the mysteries of the kingdom that controls extraordinary results one of it is such that you have experienced through this hallelujah challenge the blowing of the trumpet shouting in the spirit turning around the mystery of a dance even a prophet's head went because someone danced that a lady danced away the head of a prophet that a lady danced to a point that the king without consultation said what do i give you he was willing to give a little girl half of his kingdom kings were not fools but a dance did something to him is someone learning so we're about to pray and as i begin to pray i'm going to ask my dear friend and brother pastor nat to help me blast this trumpet listen as that trumpet when you hear the sound of that trumpet i want you to begin to open up your heart to receive I will speak the healing power of Jesus. There are people who have been oppressed. There are all kinds of yokes and all kinds of satanic bondages that have tied men, tied families that they cannot rise. He said, son of man, what do you see? And he said, four horns. He says, these horns have, um, these are the horns that have tied down Judah and Jerusalem and Israel. Tied them down. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. And these carpenters have an assignment to terrorize those horns. There are families where no one has risen. You rise and you go down. Because there are forces connected to the earth that have tied you down. We are about to make declarations by the Spirit. I told you the power of God is released when the mysteries of the kingdom are engaged. Hallelujah. And these sounds that you hear are no ordinary sounds. It's not just a sound that is coming from one with musical prowess. It's coming from the depth of the spirit. And it is a sound the devil understands. We want to rattle the gate of hell right now. And in the name of Jesus, that those that have been bound, regardless how many years, for some it's a decade, for some many decades, for some you have been tied down, you're crying and say, Lord, can salvation come? Hallelujah, God has brought you to a point tonight where you are going to be experiencing the power of God. Hallelujah. So lay your hands right now. I want to pray for you. You are sick in your body or you are standing in for someone. If you are following me from a hospital, lay your hands on that patient. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't doubt. Remember, I told you the mystery that connects to the healing anointing is the hearing of faith 
and then the action of obedience the hearing of faith you have heard the word that God is mighty you have heard the word that God is healer you have heard the word that he is all-powerful El Shaddai the multi-breasted one able to heal able to lift able to bless go ahead lay your hands by faith I want to speak over your life right now as the trumpet sounds in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stretch my hands right from this studio in the name that is above all names every spirit of infirmity that has bound god's people every spirit of infirmity tying down families tying down individuals i come in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now migraine headaches be healed cancer be healed HIV be healed bone conditions be healed in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every blood condition be cleansed right now eye conditions be healed in the name of Jesus Christ all kinds of medical reports i decree and declare fibroids you die and you pass out of those bodies every growth in the name of jesus give way right now give way right now blind eyes be opened deaf ears be opened limbs be healed by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare to everyone hearing we send a sound by the spirit arise from that state of despondency and despair in the name of jesus christ and let me pray over every family that has been bound you've been asking what is the cause of our problems and our limitations educated but not rising sincere but not able to see the hand of God upon your life can I tell you my Bible says that God is able to pick a man from a dunghill and place him in a place of notoriety and nobility therefore from the north the south the east and west of Nigeria across Europe America in Africa and every part of the continent following this hallelujah challenge everyone who has been bound by ancestral curses ancient covenants ordinances of darkness that have tied them down i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant be released now be released now be released now mothers be released now fathers be released now children be released now in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, we stand in the spirit of Moses and we speak to every Pharaoh. You have held God's people for so long. Right now, this night, Pharaoh, let God's people go. Pharaoh, let God's people go. Pharaoh, let God's people go. Pharaohs of sickness, Pharaohs of death, Pharaohs of failure. Let God's people go that they may go and serve Him in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, 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 Sing it one more time. Ah, 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 Go ahead, bless him. Two more times. Ah. 
listen we are still going to sing this chant again it's not an ordinary song uh -uh. it is it is a triumphant entry for someone as you sing this song see yourself living your yesterday with its pain and its limitation and you are jumping in victory the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous now please listen i want to speak over your finances i want you to believe that there is a grace called favor let me show you two scriptures esther chapter 2 and verse 9 this is what favor can do number one the favor of god can translate to speed the bible says and the maidens pleased him watch this and she obtained kindness of him watch what happened pastor not and he speedily gave her you can be given too slow and destiny is a function of time that the maiden obtained kindness and he speedily gave her speedily speedily someone prophesied to yourself speedily ah that miracle comes speedily is someone declaring that breakthrough comes speedily that dimension in the spirit comes speedily speedily the word of god quick and powerful manifesting speedily hallelujah same esther chapter 2 and then now we read verse 15 the b part of verse 15 very quickly the bible says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all hold on provided you looked upon esther a grace upon her would rest on you and you would be compelled to favor her she obtained favor in the sight of not some all who looked upon her verse 17 not even the king was spared the bible says and the king loved esther more than all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than they all the virgins now so that he set a royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti can i give you man, one more scripture yes sir hmm. exodus chapter 3 please and verse 21 May I request that we read it, especially for those in the studio here. Believe it, and where you see Egyptians put your name, or where you see these people, really, that's where you should put your name. Are you ready? And I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Hey! Yes, sir. So, can you take it higher for me? We are going to just chant Adonai for a few minutes, maybe a minute or two. I don't know how you are going to sing this, but imagine a triumphant entry that you are walking out of shame to glory. You are walking out of despondency and disappointment. Are we together now? I want you to see doors open as you sing this song. I want you to see chains falling as you sing this song. Adonai 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 Go ahead and sing it You're walking out of the season of shame, walking out of the season of limitation, you're walking out of the season of disappointment by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shabra Katos Kete Prekete, Ebrez Kosh Kaparatos, Mekete Prekete Kete Kos, Ebrez Kepalosha, Ebrakos Koto Prekete Brez Kiata. Oh yes, the Lord is turning away captivity in the name of Jesus, giving you a new song, taking you to a new dimension by the power of the Holy Ghost. Adonai. 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 Adonai.
Adonai, 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 hey Adonai, 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 sing, prophesy, sing, prophesy, sing, prophesy, sing, prophesy, Adonai, hey. Adonai, hey, hey, Adonai, 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 the healer, the lifter, the blesser, the blesser, the blesser, the blesser, the blesser, the maker, the raiser, the blesser, the opener of doors, call his name, let the devil hear you, Adonai, Adonai, hey, Adonai, 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 this is a word for someone right now. Adonai, 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. In one night, a nation that would not even be given straw to make bricks, when the favor of the Lord rested upon them, it was Pharaoh himself that supervised the release of all the gold of Egypt to be given to slaves. This is what the power of God can do. Can I tell you? When we prophesy prosperity upon people, we are not endorsing irresponsibility. There is a place for diligence where the Lord will establish the works of your hands. But there is an advantage we have in this kingdom. I can tell you that. The prophetic advantage is a mystery that helps men to midwife a change in seasons. That every time people are in a state of lack, a state of pain and shame, God will send a prophet. And he will bring a word, for instance, by this time tomorrow. I want to speak right now. I sense that there is an anointing on this song, Adonai. I, I don't know why I began to chant it in the spirit. That someone as you are singing, God is waking you a destiny helper. Somewhere across the nations and placing it upon their hearts. This is not motivation, ladies and gentlemen. This is a prophetic word coming to someone here at Hallelujah Challenge that you have the faith to believe. I want to speak over your life. I know the man of God. I'm close enough to him to know that he is a testament of the favor of God. When the favor of God is not upon you, the nations will not accept you, no matter how gifted you are. It takes more than being gifted to be received by a generation. The favor of God must rest upon your life. I want to pray for someone. You have struggled, you have stretched, and the Lord asks you to connect to this hallelujah challenge. I want to speak over your life to that believer, Adon. That's where you get the word Adonai. He's about to rise up upon your life as a mighty, terrible one. Amen. When God stands behind a man with the weight of his jealousy, woe betides what stands before Woo! you. Mm. Hallelujah. I want you to place your hand on your head prophetically. Your head is a symbol of your glory. 
you just obey prophetic instructions and I want to speak over your life. Adonai, 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 sing Adonai, 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 this will be someone's song after tonight the mighty one El Shaddai Adon is about to rise like a mighty terrible warrior bringing you favor Adonai 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 sing sing prophesy sing 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 Prophesy, declare, sing, sing, 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 prophesy, declare, sing. Prophesy, 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 sing, sing, prophesy, declare, sing, sing, prophesy, declare, sing, sing, prophesy, declare, sing. Sing, prophesy, declare, sing, sing, prophesy, one more time, sing, sing, prophesy. Father, in the name of Jesus, I join my faith with my brother and friend, Personat, speaking over the nations. By your mercy, you have placed this grace upon our lives. And it is a privilege to be conduits, transferring these possibilities through the power of the airwave. Right now, I speak over a believer, desperate to encounter the favor of God, so that your life will rise to a point where it can reflect the glory of God. Right now, I decree and declare, from this studio to the ends of the earth, receive this grace called favor. Receive this grace called favor. Let it speak in your finances. Let it speak in your ministry. Let it speak in your destiny. Receive this grace called favor. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy Psalm 112. Let wealth and abundance come to your house. May God lay it in the heart of helpers to help you. To support your rising. To support your establishment. In the name of Jesus. I'm wrapping up. There is a grace for visibility. Please hear me. The Bible says, Neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel. But so now there are many gifted people, but they lack this grace for visibility. Mm. Anointed, gifted, but the nations cannot drink of the fountain within them. Because you see, you can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Hey. Honor is conferred upon you. Take thou Joshua, in whom is the spirit, he says, and lay your hand upon him. He says, and take some of your honor and place upon My him, God. that the nation of Israel will hearken to My him. God. If that grace is not upon you, the nations will not hear you. There is a preacher watching. There is a psalm is watching. There are songs locked up within your spirit that will serve as ladders. It will help the saints to ascend. But that grace is not upon your life. We want to stand in agreement and release someone. Maybe in a place where no one knows. You are just watching from the quietness of your room or your prayer altar. Here comes the grace that announces you for his glory. In the name that is above all names. Is someone ready to receive? Right from where you are, 
whether you are in Lagos, Ibadan, Abuja, Maiduguri, or you are in Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, any part of the globe, America, UK, wherever, in the name that is above all names, may this grace that announces men and causes a generation to hearken to the voice of the Lord and his grace upon your life, may that anointing rest upon you now. May that anointing rest upon you now. Upon a business person, let it rest. Upon a pastor, let it rest. Upon a prophetic psalmist, let it rest. Upon a career person, let it rest. Upon a supposedly nobody, let it rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. The final prayer, and then I'm done. There is a grace that preserves a man's testimony and preserves your impact. You see, longevity of impact is something that very few people have. My Bible says better is the end of a thing. Hallelujah. Our world is full of people who were once up were once great, were once voices, whether in ministry, in business, and there are mysterious powers that only fight men when they are visible. When you are not visible, they have no business disturbing you. When th the devil came to tempt Jesus, he said, upon that elevated mountain in the temple, fall down, for he shall keep his angels charge over you. Mm. Are we together now? Mm. Yeah. There are many people, listen, it is not enough to just receive anointings that keep you up. There is a grace that keeps. Jesus said, all that you have given me, I have kept. And none is lost except the son of perdition. And that, that scripture may be fulfilled. It says, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed. God only keeps that which is committed, not that which is available. If you do not hand over your life, hand over your music ministry, hand over your word ministry to him, then it's a risk. No matter how high you are flying now, it is possible for a plane to crash from whatever altitude. But there is a hand that can lift men and keep them there. Hallelujah. By this prayer, I want to use this opportunity to speak to someone. You have heard about this Jesus thing watching from across the globe. You're hearing every time people acknowledge Jesus. You watch from this studio and you see people roll on the ground before this Jesus. Shout like madmen before this Jesus. Blow trumpets to herald this Jesus. I want you to know that Jesus is beyond a religious phenomenon. The Bible calls him the king of kings. It calls him the savior. It calls him redeemer. And here's what he told Nicodemus. He said, for God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. I want to give someone an opportunity. I hope I, that, that's fine. I can go ahead. Please. I want to give someone an opportunity. Before I pray the last prayer, someone is hearing me right now. And whilst you heard Pastor Nat lead the worship so powerfully, now hearing me speak the word to you, in all you're getting, if all you get are things, you did not get much. Whoa. Jesus is everything. Hallelujah. Are we together now? Yes, sir. I'd rather lose a miracle. I'd rather lose an opportunity to prosper. I'd rather lose an opportunity to walk in signs and wonders. But if I have Jesus, he's not just a consolation. I gained everything. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says in John chapter 1 and verse 3, it says, and without him was not anything made that was made. The epicenter of the believer's experience is not things, not miracles, not signs, not wonders. Jesus. And I want to lead someone, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, a young person. Perhaps you are sitting in your couch on your bed, following perhaps maybe whilst you are driving. And on hearing me speak, the Holy Spirit is speaking to you that now is the day of salvation. This is your moment. It's one of the reasons why God inspired this prophetic platform. Give me an opportunity by grace to lead you to Jesus. And then we release the last blessing and celebrate him. I want you to lay your hand on your chest if you're trusting the Lord to receive this gift of salvation. Don't be ashamed. No one may be there with you. 
perhaps for some you may even be watching by way of rebroadcast it is never too late when it has to do with Jesus I want you to lay your hands and repeat this prayer after me let it be from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. say it again Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Right, now, right now I believe, I believe that you are the Son of God I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life from today and forever i am a child of god i live for jesus all the days of my life now i want you to take advantage of the hallelujah challenge platforms or every any platform that will be made available and i want you to let us know that you just made this decision for jesus you'd find a link i see a link here please do well get that link and let's know that you have made it right with Jesus. By the way, you can send in your testimonies. I believe that mighty miracles are already happening. We want to know what Jesus is doing from across the globe. Even after this episode is over, send it. Let Pastor Nat know that God has used him and this platform to bring healing and deliverance. Are you ready for the final impartation? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that no one here will carry the testimony Ichabod. That it will never be said you were once great. It will never be said you were once relevant. It will never be said you were once at the cutting edge of God's prophetic program. The grace for consistency, receive it. The grace for longevity of impact ever increasing dimensions of exploits receive that grace and every power that fights your continuity fighting your relevance fighting your consistency we command it to go down now we command it to go down now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father i thank you one last time for everyone who is connecting has connected and will be hearing this even by reason of rebroadcast in the name that is above all names let every one of them testify Amen. let every one of them testify Amen. and is it all right to just lend a minute i know while he's standing i just felt stirred up in my spirit god bless you i i listen Pastor Nat and his dear team, I came into the studio and I'm uh, amazing, beautiful, lovely people. And most of you across the nations, you have no idea the kinds of sacrifice that these people have made and make every day. Right there, I want you to stretch your hands through the studio. We are going to agree. No, you don't, you don't have to kneel, my dear people. Uh, we want to pray for our friend and brother, Pastor Nat, and for these precious people who are here. We're all bowing our knees. I'm, I'm joining in, in the kneeling. Father, honor him. Go ahead. It's your turn to pray now. It's your turn to pray for him. He's prayed for you. He blew the trumpet, pouring out his spirit. Is someone praying? Someone in Lagos should be praying. A man of God watching should be praying. Perhaps a father of faith from the depth of your experience with God. Can you release a blessing? upon a son and a vessel perhaps someone who has been inspired by his life can you release a blessing upon your father and mentor someone pray pray for his family pray for his children pray for every vessel here that constitutes this hallelujah challenge team go ahead lord keep them bless them honor them they do not serve you for things but Lord, bring consolations to their lives. What money can buy and what money cannot buy. Lend a minute or two of your destiny and pray. Let's pray for our precious friend and brother. Lord, honor him the more. Give him a voice that the nations will hear across the continents of the earth. 
thank you for the gift of freshness upon his life go ahead and bless him pray for every precious brother and sister here in the studio lord bless them bless their families bless their families bless their families for their sacrifices for the kingdom please place your hand on your chest i'm seeing in the name of jesus the spirit of death by the power that raised christ from the dead right now i decree and declare in the name of jesus i'm seeing i just saw a family weeping that someone just died and this is what i want to cancel place your hand on your chest i decree and declare right now every influence of death please pray in one minute be broken be broken be broken be broken everywhere across the death the, the the globe the spirit of death we attack you every one of our people is covered now covered by the blood on the road covered by the blood in the air covered by the blood you shall not die but leave and declare the works of the lord amen you shall not die but leave and declare the works of the lord one more time sing from your heart you shall not die Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Just, just allow me to do my thing. Two, three minutes, we'll get back to the word. See, one of the things about the prophetic is that if God reveals a thing and you don't respond, it can cost somebody their life at that point. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, I'm seeing... A writing on the ground and I'm seeing the word restoration now please listen listen I know that everybody will say amen but there are 18 people inside here and outside this prophetic word one of the reasons why God brought you to service is because there is this plague that makes you keep losing things losing things you have lost as individuals you have lost money you have lost opportunities but my God is saying restoration, that anointing, 18 people. I stretch my hands right now. The power of God will come upon those 18 people and in a very strange way, the things that have left you will begin to return in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, therefore, I declare by the power of the living God, everyone among the 18 people that I see, that the hand of God should come upon I declare receive that impartation now help them receive that impartation now receive that impartation now for someone last year they relieved you of a job believe me when I tell you they're about to call you back it's a spiritual issue help them it's not the issue of incompetence help them please my god are you helping them so they don't injure themselves in the name of jesus everyone who manipulated the realm of the spirit for them to have relieved you i stand by the god of heaven and i declare before this week comes to an end let there be a strange restoration yes. 
the lord is showing me somebody you are not here but you are having breathing problem you know how it used to be for covid patients but this is not covid this is the spirit of death that wants to take that man he's a father in a family in the name of jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant wherever you are whether you are watching here or connecting across the globe in the name of jesus we preserve your life now we preserve your life in the name of jesus please be seated you can take okay this is fine we must learn to be sensitive to spiritual things a spiritual man is not just one who prays and studies scripture but you must train your organs of interacting with the realm of the spirit so that you can pick signals to know because one one response can save a person a family hallelujah bring the two people who start running out under the anointing now just hold them guide them and bring them here i want to prophesy to them i just saw an eagle when god speaks like that is because there is a grace yeah. I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Please bring them Your influence is all over me yeah i am victorious i have overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious this woman stand up please madam the woman at the back of this man wearing glasses please stop that woman for me stand up lift your hands where you are madam i just saw oil being poured on you in the name of jesus i release you to a new level that these challenges that have plagued your life and your family they come to an end now just be patient we're getting back to the word am i wasting your time whatever shut the ears of your destiny helper so that they don't hear when the spirit beckons on them in the name of jesus again i'm seeing 11 people i know that this prayer is for everybody but by the spirit of the living god 11 people the ministry of destiny helpers have been long overdue by the anointing of the spirit of god i release help them please please whether you're an usher or not just help them so that i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings. I am under the shadow of your wings.
hallelujah now i'm seeing the number seven there are many of you listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully there were many dimensions you once touched in the realm of the spirit but i don't know what happened to your spiritual life and you lost that dimension some of you prophetic dreams some of you revelations some of you gave god gave you the eyes that sees nothing happens ab above you that you do not see but you lost it like the hair of samson and the lord i know is restoration but this is it is like a restoration of mantles and dimensions faces gates that were closed over you spiritually i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus all those who this prophetic word is for by the spirit of god may that fire rest upon you now may that fire at the scent of water that's what i'm hearing at the scent of water 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 the water of the world oh fire is burning here at the scent of water a restoration is happening to your spiritual experiences god is revisiting you again ladies gentlemen all together revisiting you woe betides a man in this end time who loses his ability to see his ability to hear his ability to perceive you will be like a dead man in the spirit hallelujah please don't be tired the lord is ministering to me hear me don't feel offended by what i'm saying i'm just speaking as i'm directed there are many of you here there are people in your life that the devil is going to use to destroy you but god wants to bring that separation now for some of them they don't look like it but just believe what i'm telling you among the people within your circle there are people that the devil has planted seeds and if you are not sensitive it will destroy you in the name of jesus may the all-seeing eye of god reach into your destiny and begin to bring separations mysterious separations by the spirit some of you even though we are not declaring a corporate fast but some of you after this meeting don't be surprised when the spirit of god gives you instructions wait upon him one day two days three days just obey as he comes because there are things where listen we're in a season where sensitivity can mean the difference between life and death sensitivity can mean the difference between tapping into what god is doing for the next season or being carnally minded and then you remain grounded allow me pray for one group of people and then we'll get back to the teaching of the word i've seen this many times this is not the first time i'm seeing it where i will see a human being in the realm of the spirit and yet not see the head or i'll see the head covered i know that every time this happens something is the glory of a man is an unveiling of what god anointed you to do and let me tell you when your glory is covered no matter what you do physically you, you will never be able to rise i want to release some people right now in the name of jesus christ even the son of the living god whether by divination by activities of witchcraft everyone here under any kind of siege where your glory your productivity the power of god that which should announce you has been hidden and covered i decree and declare be loose now please help them be loose now be loose now and for all those who are in front here in the name of jesus i declare 
that which has come upon you from God and by God remains permanent and that which is inconsistent with the Word of God over your life as you are free now you are free forever in Jesus name I pray please be seated thank you so much just help them up who is victory victory is there someone with a name victory not Victor not Victoria victory the Lord is telling me you are by my right at the back this is what I'm seeing is there someone like that please verify very your name is victory madam come victory where are you from Personal. there's somebody running here his, his name is oh victory okay male and female I want to pray for you the way God is going to be lifting people in this house bar <laughs> believe me except you see it by yourself you will think it was stage managed believe me the kind of mantles and graces that will, will be resting on people you will see people changing levels in ways that even death themselves I'm telling you this by the Spirit of God Shalom Shalom Jehovah Shalom Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, shalom, Jehovah, shalom, shalom. My dear Victory, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ in this season. Even as God is revealing to me, may he visit your family Amen. in a way that will surprise you Amen. in the name of Jesus. And the Lord is saying, I should prophesy to you, remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old, that in this season he is doing a new thing in your life. And I declare that the grace that will cause what is being done in the realm of the spirit to manifest, may that grace rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to lift your voice all across the globe in one minute and begin to pray. Declare that this is your moment in the spirit. Is someone praying? Make declarations of faith even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Take a minute or two to pray in the spirit. Saprantes caperetos cale grande que barato sabedes. Crapata catabala catafras catabela catepash. Empranta caparacosa de balas caperetos atariadaba. Saprate caperetos cadiata. Your night for an encounter by the Spirit of the Living God that your life will never be the same. Never be the same by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. John 16 and verse 24, the Bible says, He that told you have asked for nothing in my name. It says, Ask that you will receive to the end that your joy may be full. Hallelujah. It is only those who ask that receive. I want you all over the world and in this studio, lift up your voice and begin to make definite petitions in the spirit. I obtain grace. Lord, visit me in whatever area of concern. Is someone praying? Lift your voice and begin to ask by the spirit of grace. And by the way, let me, let me just say a word. I'm going to be praying for the sick and everywhere across whether this studio and all those who are connecting, I'd like you to prepare. There are people around you who are sick, trusting God for a miracle. We're going to be ministering the life and the power of Jesus. And you'll be sending in your testimonies from across the world that tonight is your night indeed. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm here. My assignment here is very simple. I have come to prophesy by the Spirit of the living God. I believe in the power of prophecy. And while I prepared for this session, the Holy Spirit began to minister definite things. I'm going to be prophesying across three or four areas. The first, very quickly, is restoration and resurrection. Listen very carefully. Resurrection is very, very powerful. There are three incidences of resurrection in the ministry of Jesus. Number one was Jairus' daughter. You find that for reference in Matthew chapter 9 from verse 18 to 26. Matthew 9, 18 to 26. The Bible says how that Jairus had come to Jesus to plead that he would come to his house to help attend to his sick daughter. Pay attention now. The Bible says, while Jesus was on his way going, he encountered another woman who called for his attention. We call her the woman with the issue of blood. And spending some time to deal with her issue, successfully he was able to heal that woman. But by the time he was done with that woman and got to the house of Jairus, the daughter just died. That was a situation that just happened. And while they were lamenting, there was no point, you are coming again now, Jesus, this is over. Jesus said, get out of the house. In other words, he drove every unbelief out of his environment. And then he looked at the little girl and said, Talitha Kumi, little girl, I say unto you, arise. The second incidence of resurrection is found in Luke chapter 7 from verse 11 to 16. The story of the widow at Nain. Now, this story is very, very interesting because this was a woman who was losing all the men in her life. She had lost her husband to be a widow and her only son had just died. The Bible says they were taking him out of the city gate. Now, in those days, if they took a dead body out of the city gate, that was the end of it. Just at the edge of the city gate, here comes Jesus. And he said, what is happening here? And they said, we're about to take this one case close. And he said, not so. He tapped them, brought the coffin down, and resurrected the person. Now, notice, in the first incident, it just happened. In the second incident, it had happened, and they were about to conclude. The third of them was the resurrection of Lazarus. In John chapter 11, when you read from verse 38 to 44, in fact, the Bible says Lazarus was sick, and Jesus himself said that the sickness was not unto death. And yet he was the one who said, our brother Lazarus sleepeth. The disciples said, if he's sleeping, that's good for his health. And he had to come plainly to say, Lazarus is now dead. He said, but let us go and wake him. The Bible says when they got to the tomb, very interesting. He wept and stood before the tomb and he said, roll away the stone. This is a very prophetic word. I will do the resurrection, but you must have faith enough to roll away the stone. He said, roll away the stone. And, and with audacity and precision, he shouted and he said, Lazarus, come forth. There are many things we are going to be calling to come forth right now. Are we together now? There are people who have lost opportunities, lost relationships, lost several organs in their bodies. Let me tell you something. Jesus is called the resurrection and the life. And when we begin to pray for resurrection, I want you to believe, release your faith, and you begin to experience supernatural miracles. I said restoration and resurrection. Restoration is very important. Please look up. To restore does not just mean to go forward. Advancement is different from resurrection or restoration. For restoration to be needed, it means that something must have impeded your growth and your progress. To be restored means to be taken by the wings of the spirit and to be kept at a level where it will not look like anything ever happened. For instance, a woman who has been barren for five years, if now she's in a position to give birth and she gives birth one by one by one, it will take her another five, six years to have her children. But if God gives her triplets, this is not delivery, this is restoration. Are we together? The first prophetic word for someone is that God is arising as a restorer and he's bringing you resurrection. Number two, very quickly, my second assignment here is to prophesy favor. Ah, someone say favor. favor. Say favor. favor. 
Let me tell you the truth. This is a subject that I understand very well because I didn't have it before. There are things that you know um, you have tasted of their deficiency, the pain of not having them. And I know what has happened in my life and in the life of everyone here as a result of favor. Favor is very powerful. Psalm 102 and verse 13, the Bible says, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman, mercy upon Nigeria. Mention your name, mercy upon Joshua Selman. It says, For the time to favor her, yea, the Kairos time is come. Hallelujah. Favor is very powerful. According to scripture, there are three biblical indices that characterize the presence of favor in the life of an individual. Number one is unusual kindness. Number two, unusual access. Number three, unusual acceptance. When these tripartite forces coexist in the life of an individual, for sure, the favor of God is upon you. Favor is very different from breakthrough. You know it is favor when it happens again and again and again. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. He says, and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Listen, I'm speaking prophetically to someone because you are crying. You are saying, listen, I've celebrated. I sang. I jumped. But sincerely, apostle, things are not going well in my life. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is access to the hearts of men. When God connects you to the hearts of men and nobles, they will come with their gift. That grace was upon Jesus even as a baby. And the Bible says the Magi began to walk from a distance. They did not mind the inconvenience and they came to greet a baby holding gifts of gold, of frankincense and of myrrh. They came to greet a baby, not an adult. So it's not your age or your background. It's that that grace is not yet on you. When that grace is on you, men will live anywhere to locate you. The Magi from the east, they came to locate that star and to bless Jesus. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The B part says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Favor is so powerful that it works with the power of sight. That means if that grace for favor is upon you, only a blind man should not bless you. For as long as they make contact with you, something from your head drives them to want to bless you. This is true. For those who desire establishment of all sorts, I have a scripture for you. Psalm 44 and verse 3. It says, they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance. Why? Because thou hadst a favor. Someone shout favor. Let the devil hear you. Shout favor. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 23. I hope someone's spirit is getting fired up. Deuteronomy 33 and 23. It says, and of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess thou the west and the south. You don't possess just by luck. It takes the fullness of favor and the blessing of the Lord upon you. Oh, Joshua Selman, he said, satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess thou the west and the south. I'm saying this so that when it's time to make that declaration, you receive from your spirit. I'm tired of this situation, living from pillar to post, running around with no helper. Favor. Favor. I believe in the favor of God. My life is a testament of the favor of God. Hallelujah. When the favor of God is upon you, it will work wonders in your life. This is the mystery of ease. When the favor of God comes upon a man, unusual kindness, unusual acceptance, unusual access, access to the hearts of kings. Remember, Esther was about to take a risk and go to the king's inner chamber without being invited. And in those days, if she stepped into his inner chamber not being invited, it would cost her a life. And she said, Mordecai, I will take that risk. If I perish, 
I perish. And the Bible says she stepped in and protocols were broken. The king lifted up the golden censer and said you could come. I'm speaking to someone. It, it, it may look like it's not yet your turn, but favor can shift people, shift things, and place you in a position where you will experience the power, the grace of God. And I speak that to your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 37. We're going to read 3, 4, 7, 9, and 10 very, very quickly. This is a very interesting story because it had to do with dry bones. The Bible says that Ezekiel was taken in a valley full of dry bones. And the Bible says he saw that those bones had been there a long time. That situation a long time. That pain a long time. It started from 1999. You thought there would be solutions. Now to 2023. And you're wondering, can there be a way out? The Bible says the bones were very dry. And he said, son of man, can this situation live again? Can it change again? Can this family situation, can this health situation, you've been diagnosed with cancer, diagnosed with all kinds of situations. Can it live again? Even the prophet had to confess that this one only thou knowest. I, I don't know what to say about this because of the kind of situation. And he said, prophesy. Prophesy unto these bones. You can prophesy over situations, not just over men. You can speak to situations and tell them, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible says the prophet prophesied and as he prophesied, there was a sound. Ah, every time there is a sound, something is happening in the realm of the spirit. There was a sound. And then the Bible says bones began to be joined to bones. It's interesting that the bones did not just come together. The Bible says bone to his bone. That means every situation under a certain sound knows how to bring itself back. Your destiny helper may be far, but he can come to you when a certain sound is produced. I prophesied as I was commanded and he said there was a sound and bones came together bone to his bone. And he prophesied life again, commanding the four winds of the earth to breathe upon the slain. And the Bible says there arose an exceeding great army. Now please pay attention. Let's go to Exodus chapter 14. We'll read 14 and 15. This was the exodus of Israel from Egypt. Hallelujah. Moses is standing before the Red Sea with the fearful Egyptians. Uh, I mean the fearful Israelites and then the Egyptians behind trying to come and Moses himself is confused. What do I do with these people? Millions of them, the Red Sea before them, Egyptians behind them. And here's what he told them. Very visionary leader. Even though he did not have the solution yet, he told them by faith that the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. The verse of emphasis is verse 15. He says, and the Lord said to Moses, why criest thou unto me? He says, speak to the children of Israel that they go forward. This is the third prophetic word. That God has come to bring a word of advancement. That you have, you have stagnated in a position for a long time. He said, ye have compassed this mountain long enough that you turn ye not what. But he says, speak to the children of Israel. He didn't just say they will go forward. Speak to them. It takes words to move them to go forward. You've been at the same position for a very long time in ministry, in life, no visibility, no grace, no access to nothing. The Lord has sent me here and has sent us here to declare that you must go forward. And listen, as we begin to make these declarations, I want you to believe, see yourself making progress spiritually, financially, and across every aspect of your life. Hallelujah. So this is my, th my threefold assignment and then I quickly speak over the sick. Again, I repeat, restoration and resurrection. Restoration and resurrection. Everything that has died in my life must come alive. It must come alive. I'm talking about myself. Don't watch me. Talk about yours too. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Restoration. Restoration. 
restoration. Lazarus, it's time to come forth in the name of Jesus. My dead spiritual life, my dead financial life, in the name of Jesus, hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare, I command by the God of heaven, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Someone is praying. Someone is declaring, even by the Spirit, he said, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. I command resurrection. I command resurrection in the name of Jesus. Mention every aspect of your life and begin to decree resurrection by the Spirit of the living God. Resurrection. Resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hear me. We are still going to pray this prayer. I know that there are many prophetic things that will happen here very quickly. But for every prayer point I raise, I'm going to be pleading with Pastor Nath to just raise a trumpet. You see, there is a relationship between the trumpet and resurrection. The Bible says when Jesus is about to come, it is by the trumpet of the archangel and all who are dead will come back to life. So as we sound this trumpet, I'd like you to declare that everything that has died, it does not matter how long it has died. It must come to pass. Are you ready now? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Restoration. Resurrection. Restoration. Resurrection. Restoration. Shabrakate parakatos. Embrekete kapos. Shabrakatos keperekita. Restoration. And resurrection. Restoration. And resurrection. In the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration and resurrection by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is someone ready to declare favor? One of the ways that we access favor is by praying favor provoking prayers. You can pray your way out of shame and reproach. The Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But that was not always the case. The mother bore him in sorrow and cursed him by her pain. The Bible says Jabez came to a point where he was angry. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast and that your hand will be upon me and that it shall be well with me. The Bible says the Lord heard him. Someone is about to pray. Lord, I'm tired of living a natural life, struggling as though I do not have a spiritual advantage. I invoke the favor of God. Let it rest upon me. Unusual kindness towards me unusual acceptance towards me someone is praying unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance someone is praying I receive the grace for favor I receive the mantle for favor in the mighty name of Jesus favor in ministry favor in business favor in career let the advantage that befits the believer in Christ, let it rest upon me. Favor is a system of advantage. I receive it into my spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Once upon a time, the Bible talks about a cup bearer called Nehemiah. That Nehemiah was a cup bearer and he was concerned about the state of the Jerusalem wall. But because he had favor, he didn't even need to talk to the king. The king looked at him and said, why is your countenance this way? And he said, I am here serving. Whereas the gates, the fences of Jerusalem are falling. And the king said, I will write a letter and give you everything that you need so that you will go and build it. Favor is powerful. It can compel a man to get up, leave his own affairs. Listen, let me tell you this. The world is too wicked to excel with integrity without favor. Mm -mm. The Bible says we know that we are of God. And the whole world lies in wickedness. Whatever makes a man to leave his own affairs and invest his integrity, his credibility, his resources towards you, it must be divine. This is the grace I desire to rest upon someone. Amen. Listen, there are people by the natural course of life, some of us may be 
educationally disadvantaged. Some of us may be sociologically disadvantaged. Favor is an equalizer. It can bring men from whatever background and give you an opportunity. It happens by favor. Can we pray one more time for favor? Yes, sir. Before we get into these prophetic declarations, I want you to think of the very many aspects of your life that have been grounded and stagnated as a result of the absence of favor. Now I want you to cry, Oh God of heaven, send favor. Send favor. Open your mouth and pray. God of heaven, send favor over my finances. Send favor over my ministry. Send thou help from Zion. In the name of Jesus, is that thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time, the time to favor Joshua Selman, the time to favor Joshua Selman. I decree and declare that the time has come. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now hear me. There are demonic forces that have been assigned by darkness to impede the progress of men. Jesus himself said, I will build my church. And he admitted the presence of the gates of hell. That the gates of hell would try to prevail. He said, I desire to come to you, Paul speaking. Even I, Paul, once and again, he said, but Satan hindered us. I hope you know that it was hunger that took Israel to Egypt until they became slaves there. Hallelujah. Hunger will always take Israel to Egypt. In Genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2, the Bible says Jacob was speaking with his sons and said, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. He said, why you look to one another? He says, behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get down Tita and buy for us that we may live and not die. Every time Satan sees that God's people are at liberty, serving him, he will manipulate the economy. He will manipulate several things that begin to lift them and tilt them towards the corridors of compromise. Listen, I'm saying this because we are going to pray. There is a spirit in Egypt that keeps men down. And when God sent Moses in Exodus chapter 9, give us verse 1 and then we'll read verse 13. This is a powerful prophetic word for someone. Exodus 9 and verse 1. If you can see it projected, let's read it in concert. Ready? One to read. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go that they may serve me. Someone is about to declare his exodus. He said, let my people go. I'm going to declare over your life, but right now I want you to declare every captivity, foundations, every activity of bloodline, I dissociate myself by the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything connected to ancestry, everything connected to bloodlines, by the power of the Holy Ghost, for the Bible declares, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to his cross. Someone pray. Patterns of limitation, patterns of weakness, patterns of death, untimely death, all kinds of demonic things. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. I declare that I am free. Every Pharaoh must let me go. In the name of Jesus Christ financial pharaohs held pharaohs in the name of Jesus release my destiny hallelujah hallelujah once upon a time there was a man who was born blind and when the disciples saw that man they asked Jesus a question they said who sinned that this man was born blind 
Was it himself or his father? They were acknowledging before Jesus that something a person can do can affect the generation before him. And Jesus said, neither. But this is that the glory of the Lord will be revealed. You are going to declare again, it does not matter how long the pattern has been connected to my life by ancestry bloodline. The Bible says we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. Open your mouth and begin to declare your release in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I decree and declare that I am supernaturally released from every ordinance of darkness. Someone is praying. Curses, yokes, demonic intrusions. I declare by the spirit of the living God, release me and let me go by the blood of the eternal covenant. By the blood of the eternal covenant, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me go. Hallelujah. One last scripture and then I begin to declare. Acts chapter 16. Powerful scripture from verse 25. The Bible says, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. Have you prayed? Paul and Silas sang praises. Did you sing praises? And the Bible says it was so loud the prisoners heard them. 26. Suddenly, like it is about to happen now, the Bible says there was a great earthquake. Listen. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. I love this one. And immediately, all the doors, not some, all the doors, all the doors. There are times that some doors open and some doors remain closed. All the doors, all the doors, financial doors, doors of fruitfulness. All doors were open. All doors were open. Open your mouth and begin to declare all doors, all doors, all doors, all doors. I prophesy and I declare all doors, Ephata, be open. All doors be open. All doors be open. All doors be open. All doors be open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'd like you to prepare yourselves. I'm about to pray and speak over your life. For those who are sick, I'm about to pray for you. Believe in the healing power of Jesus. I want to release supernatural breakthroughs right now all across the globe, right from this studio. Now hear me please. There are two dimensions to the prophetic. Number one, the first dimension of the prophetic as revealed from scripture is the revelatory dimension. The assignment of revelation is to give you direction, strengthen your conviction and impart faith. This is the first dimension of the prophetic, where God reveals details about the lives of men. But the most superior dimension of the prophetic as revealed in scripture is the creative dimension, where you make what has no business happening to happen. Are we together? When the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, he was not revealing what would happen. That possibility had no business happening. It was the prophetic that scheduled that event. Listen, the prophetic, you see, realities are already in existence in the realm of the spirit. But you do not need them there. You need them to be made manifest here in the earth. The Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory even as of the Father, full of grace and truth. There are possibilities already locked up for you. The assignment of the prophetic is to give visibility to the speakings of God. Are we together now? Yes. So, if I tell you, you have 10 naira in your pocket and it's true. That is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic. But if I say in the name of Jesus, I schedule a season of favor. And whilst you are stepping out of here, someone who has no business meeting you, comes to meet you and blesses you. That is the creative dimension of the prophetic. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, it is on the strength of that dimension that many destinies rise. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. The Bible says, give it to us please. I'm about to speak. I sense a strong anointing in this place. 
Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. And the elders of the Jews built it, and they prospered. How? Through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. They did not prosper just because of the dexterity of their architecture. They prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And the Bible says they built it and they finished it. When prophecy comes, you must finish it. Many of you have started projects you could not finish. You have exhausted your creativity. Step aside and let the prophetic give you an edge. Listen. In ancient times, success was always based on this tripartite formation of king, priest, and prophet. We have lost that pattern in our generation. The prophet will usually double as the priest. You see, kings were helpless unless with the advantage of the prophetic. If they were hedonistic kings, they would surround themselves with necromancers and diviners. They knew that there had to be an advantage of the realm of the spirit. Someone you've been struggling just with your intellect, doing the best that you know to do. Listen, I believe in skill. I believe in competence. But can I tell you, there are times where even if you're a fisherman like Peter, you are in the sea, the right place to catch fish. Having the boat, having the net, you will still not catch fish. At that point, you don't need fishing again. You need the prophetic. Jesus looked at them. He was talking to a professional fisherman who had paid his price. He was at the right location having the right tools, but he still did not catch fish. Someone, you may be a doctor, you may be a medical practitioner, you may be a professional. You've invested in yourself. But you see, James 2.26 says that a spirit without a body is dead. Your business is only a body. Where is the spirit back in it? Your ministry is only a body. David knew this about Goliath. So when he came, he said, Goliath, you come to me with your spheres and your bows. But I come to you by a covenant. There is a spirit back in me. Many of you are doing many things that are right. But you have ignored the prophetic advantage. Now the prophetic can be abused. But within the limit of scripture it works wonders. Can I tell you? It is not every anointed prophet that blesses you. Prophets are sent to people. The Bible says there were many widows in Zarephath. But to none was Elijah sent. Meaning he passed other widows and greeted them. Because he had nothing to offer to them. When Elijah was alive, the Shunammite woman was still alive. Yet he did not do anything to her. But when he met the woman in Zarephath, that was the end of her story. I believe that God has sent us here by faith because this is a Kairos moment. I am a product of the prophetic speakings of fathers. I know what prophecy can do. In one day, prophecy can lift you and elevate you to a position of honor and grace. God is speaking to someone. You connected to this hallelujah challenge because you have cried, you have prayed and said, Lord, what is the way? Hosea chapter 12 now, it says, I have spoken in similitudes and I have multiplied visions even by the prophets. When we get to, I think, verse 13 or so, it says, give us verse, verse 13. Now, it says... Uh, is it 12 or 13 now? And by a prophet, thank you, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Who brought them? The Lord. But the physical agent was by a prophet. You see, let me tell you how it works in the spirit. The Bible says the spirit and the bride say come. It is not the spirit alone that says come. When the spirit says come, there must be a bride on earth as a witness that echoes what the spirit is saying. The spirit and the bride say be healed. The spirit and the bride say be lifted. If the spirit keeps saying be lifted and there is no bride on earth to echo it, lifting will never happen here. Are we together? So the Bible says from the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. But that reality did not save anybody. Jesus had to become a man to come in partnership with that prophecy for salvation to be real. Are we together? I'm about to declare over someone's life and I truly believe that miracles, supernatural manifestations of the spirit will begin to happen. 
you have prayed some of you have fasted some of you have cried it says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet was he preserved every time there was need for restoration it was a prophet alas master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it if it was famine in Samaria it was still a prophet by this time tomorrow for someone you are at your end right now you've cried you've prayed and you're saying I'm a man of God myself I'm in ministry it looks like things are not working I'm a psalmist God has helped me I have songs but I cannot find visibility listen to me nobody lifts himself you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another are we together it says, take thou Joshua, the son of Nun, in whom there is a spirit, and lay your hands upon him. It says, and take some of thy honor and give to him. Honor is transferable. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be alone. don't have the time but I want you to listen very carefully many years ago the Lord Jesus appeared to me and I shared these encounters to strengthen your faith my life is a product of many many supernatural encounters and in one of those encounters when he appeared to me you may have heard me say it again and again in my teachings light came from him light that no human should be able to stand how i did not die is a question i will ask him when i see his face in heaven and that light entered into my spirit and something supernatural happened from that time the entrance of thy word the bible says gives light and provided there is that light he said the light shineth in darkness john 1 5 and the darkness comprehended it not are we together now? It says, arise, shine. Not because you are tired of sitting. Because your light is come. Amplified says it this way. Arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. It says, rise to a new light. Hallelujah. I'm about to declare. Because the Lord gave me an instruction. Listen carefully. He said, to every nation and to every region I will send you. That light that came from me to you there must be someone in that meeting that that light will be released upon too. He said he sent a word to Jacob, but it lighted upon Israel. There are many of you who were standing in partnership here with the man of God, and let me tell you, there are possibilities that will begin to manifest. There are pastors listening right now. By reason, you will never forget this hallelujah challenge. You will know that you contacted grace for your destiny. Are we together? What you are hearing, I'm not teaching you cunningly devised fables. The things that we have seen, the things that we have heard, the things that we have handled. These are the things that we communicate even by the spirit and i'm going to pray for the sick in one of the encounters i was in a place that looked like there was a coffee and only sick people they were littered on the ground and i began to cry and sob and say what kind of thing is this and i heard the voice from heaven and he said to heal them all so when you hear of the miracles and the things by the grace of god we are people of integrity we don't have time to stage manage nonsense you can't you there's no need faking what is real it's an unnecessary labor to fake things when it can be real. Are we together now? So I want you to believe because there's someone right now, you may even have been appointed unto death, but life is coming to you. The resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. Let's pray for the sick now. If you are sick in your body, I want you to lay your hands. Probably someone is following right now from a hospital. You are, you are with a cancer patient. You are with any kind of infirmity. And in this studio, you can make contact for yourself and for someone. You have the photo of someone by faith. I want you to connect right now. I'm about to release the healing power of Jesus right from this place across the globe. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I decree and declare right now. 
in the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of every infirmity, I curse you by the God of heaven. I curse you by the God of heaven. I curse you by the God of heaven. Now I release the healing power of Jesus. Be healed right now. Blood diseases be healed right now. All kinds of infirmities be healed right now. Be healed right now. Blind eyes be open right now. Someone on wheelchair stand up right now. Lift those crutches and lift that wheelchair right now. I command heart palpitations. Be healed in the name of Jesus. We change genotypes. We change blood groups. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deaf ears be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every medical condition. HIV. Hepatitis. We declare be healed in the name of Jesus. Bone conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Asthma. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Diabetes. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Rheumatoid arthritis. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart palpitations. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Whether we mention your case or not. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. We declare be healed right now. Be healed right now. And for those appointed unto death. We declare, O oh death, where is your sting? And O oh grave, where is your victory? We establish victory for you right now. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to receive prophetic words now? I speak over every closed door. mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic a father be open a father be open a father be open every closed door closed by witchcraft closed by ancestry closed by ignorance closed by disobedience by the mercy of God be opened now be opened now hear me Every man appointed to hold your hands and to lift you to your next season. He said, if there any man in the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. And they brought a crippled man called Mephibosheth. I prophesy to someone, to the north, the south, the east, and the west. I command your destiny help us to locate you. I command your destiny help us to locate you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me declare speed upon your life. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab, even down to Israel. Hear me. Hear an hallelujah challenge. I command speed. I command speed. I command speed. Speed in destiny. In the name of Jesus Hallelujah. The Bible says, turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. I want to declare over someone, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, everything that has made for weeping, everything that has made for crying, everything that has made for lamentation, I speak to you. The Bible says, though weeping endures for a night, it says joy comes with the morning. I announce the arrival of your morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. But so now the Lord is speaking to me particularly that there are barren women, women who have been trusting God. Some of them are both 10 years, 15 years. Hear me, tonight is your night. I declare by the Spirit of God, some of you will carry twins. Some of you will carry triplets. Even by the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Now please lend me one or two more minutes as I wrap up. I want us to declare over Nigeria. I want us to declare over Nigeria. I saw the dear lady with the flag. Can you just lift that flag? Let the devil see that there are people who serve the Lord. 
the Lord gave me a very strange prophetic word for Nigeria. I'm not one who just comes to speak about things carelessly. I respect God and I respect myself. Psalm 76 and verse 10. This is a mysterious parable that you will understand from the weekend that is coming. It says, for the wrath of man will praise you and the remnant of the wrath you will give us KJV. The wrath of man shall praise thee and the remainder of the wrath shall doubt. There are many prophetic things that are unfolding even beginning from now through the presidential election. I've prayed with my people and we're going to pray and declare. It doesn't matter who wins. If there is bloodshed, it was not worth it. We are going to declare first and foremost that the Prince of Peace, the covenant of David that is of peace will, will move across the length and the breadth of this nation. We declare over Nigeria. Nigeria, in the name of Jesus, there will be no bloodshed. There will be no bloodshed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. What God is going to be doing in this nation He's going to sign a signature upon this nation to once again show that he is God and he rules in the affairs of men. This is the only thing I'm going to tell everybody. In the midst of all that happens, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. I'm saying this in the open. Stand still. Don't just want to see the salvation. The first thing is stand still. And then you will see the salvation of the Lord. For surely I tell you the Egyptians you see today. You will see them no more Amen. forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father we thank you for this hallelujah challenge. I'm going to request that Pastor Nat just blows the trumpet seven times. I know he spoke about number ten. But seven times is a number of perfection. We sang praises. We rejoiced. For every one of this sound, it is a sound to your destiny. It is a sound to every aspect of your life that the Lord himself is visiting you. And by the way, while that is happening, I'm sure that he may take it from here. We've stretched you a bit. There are people here who are yet to encounter Jesus genuinely and sincerely. He said, let my people go that they may go and serve me. Let me take a minute to speak to someone who is dilly-dallying about Jesus. Here is an opportunity here at Hallelujah Challenge to make Jesus Lord of your life. We are here because of what he's done in and through our lives. You may be watching from the United States, from Europe, somewhere in Africa or in this nation. Right where you are, I want to just make a prayer and I want you to pray with me. Lay your hand on your chest and say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight until forever, I am a child of God. Amen. I pray for you based on the authority of Scripture that your sins are forgiven. We call you a bona fide recipient of the life of God in the name of Jesus. So it's going to be seven shouts, Halal Yeshua. We're celebrating God. And after these seven shouts, I want you to rejoice knowing that you will return with testimonies for sure in the name of Jesus.
Somebody shout, Nigeria shall rejoice. Somebody shout, 